Welcome to Consultier Inc. and Interlink IQ. To conduct a document review, utilizing the Crisis Management Planning Program under the SQF Module 2.6.4, first check if the document title matches the uploaded file name. In this instance, we do have the same titles as the Crisis Management Planning Program. Next, both must have the same document code. For this example, we do have 2.6.4p0. Since this is a template, we indicate the PCQI as the account initials. However, we can customize the code based on the company's initials. For the page number, we use the page X of Y format, ensure that it reflects the current page position and the total page number of the document. Then insert the company logo here, together with the company name, the company address, and enter the designated department. For the originated by section, it can be the food safety, quality assurance, or the quality control personnel of the company. The originator ensures the implementation of the quality management and document control system. Enter the name of the originator, affix the signature, input the position title, and the date originated. For the reviewed by section, it can be the personnel assigned in the quality management department who reviews the drafted document or its revision for accuracy and implementation. Enter the name of the reviewer, affix the signature, input the position title, and the date reviewed. For the approved by section, it must be the person in the C-level management who has approval authority. First, enter the name of the approver, Affix the signature, input the position title, and the date approved. The revision date is the same as the date originated or drafted by the author. For the effective date, it is the date the document was signed and approved. The publication date is when the document is published for distribution and initiated personnel training. The implementation date is when the document is distributed and personnel training is completed. For the supersedes, put original for the initial issuance of the document. For any revisions, reflect the initial revision date before the current revision. Please be reminded that this section must be properly filled out to be compliant. Now we will focus on the components of the program. First is purpose. The purpose is the implementation of any certification standard or compliance with a regulatory requirement. For this program, it is for implementation with the SQF Module 2 Edition 9 for food manufacturing under Class 2.6.4. First, to implement SQF 2.6.4.1, a crisis management plan based on the understanding of known potential dangers, for example, flood, drought, fire, tsunami, or other severe weather events, warfare or civil unrest, computer outage, pandemic, loss of electricity or refrigeration, ammonia leak and labor strike that can impact the site's ability to deliver safe food shall be documented by senior management, outlining the methods and responsibility the site shall implement to cope with such a business crisis. The crisis management plan shall include at a minimum 1. A senior manager responsible for decision-making, oversight, and initiating actions arising from a crisis management incident. Two the nomination and training of a crisis management team. Three, the controls implemented to ensure any responses do not compromise product safety. Four, the measures to isolate and identify product affected by a response to a crisis. Fifth, the measures taken to verify the acceptability of food prior to release. Sixth, the preparation and maintenance of a current crisis alert contact list, including supply chain customers. Seventh, sources of legal and expert advice. And eighth, the responsibility for internal communications and communicating with authorities, external organizations, and media. And two, to implement SQF 2.6.4.2, the crisis management plan shall be reviewed tested and verified at least annually with gaps and appropriate corrective actions documented. Records of reviews of the crisis management plan shall be maintained. The second component of the program is scope. 
the scope of the program is based on the purpose and serves as a guide in defining and describing the layout of the procedure. It includes the post-crisis recovery product safety control, the equipment and utensils, and the environmental controls or sanitation. Third is policy. The policies are the rules set by the company as their implementation guide. First, Crisis Management Plan prescribes actions that taken as a result of external, environmental, climatic, equipment failure, or other potential business threats that impact the ability of the company to supply and provide customers with safe products. These threats, depending upon the supplier's product, location, and other factors may include fire, flood, drought, tsunami, other severe weather or regional events such as warfare or civil unrest, power failure, storm damage, acts of terrorism, etc. Which you may refer to Emergency Response Manual and to Crisis Management Program. The fourth component of the program is Procedure. The procedure is the step-by-step -step process and the actual implementation of the policy. Under Procedure, we have Crisis Management Planning, which includes the directors are officers and CEO, senior managers responsible for decision-making, oversight, and initiating actions arising from a crisis management incident. Crisis Management Team or CMT, which you may refer to Crisis Management or Response Team Roaster. Under Crisis Management Team, we have CEO, General Manager, the Operations Manager, Production Supervisor, the Quality Supervisor, Maintenance Lead, Sanitation, Distribution Manager, IT Personnel, the HR Manager, and the Controller. 2. Controls implemented to ensure a response does not compromise product safety. For post-crisis recovery product safety control, the CMT performed the following functions prior to assuming product production and normal operations. Under plant and grounds, a full integrity check is performed per the current good manufacturing practices described in 21 CFR Part 110 and 117. The responsible department is the quality control. Next is equipment and utensils. A full system pre-operational check is performed on all equipment prior to use. The responsible department is production and maintenance. Calibration check is performed on all applicable equipment and measuring instruments prior to use. The responsible department is maintenance and production, verification by quality department. For raw materials, packaging materials, or finished products, the responsible department is operations. All materials are re-verified as applicable. The responsible department is operations and quality. Contaminated, compromised, and damaged materials is accounted for and disposed. The responsible department is operations, production, and quality. For environmental controls or sanitation, a full cleaning and sanitation control is performed prior to assuming product production. The responsible department is sanitation. An environmental swabbing is performed prior to assuming product production. The responsible department is quality. Next, measures to isolate and identify product affected by a response to a crisis. All product currently in production within 15 minutes time frame of downtime are disposed of per local regulatory requirements prior to assuming production post-crisis recovery. Measures taken to verify the acceptability of food prior to release. Verification of acceptability of food prior to release is performed by metal detection and organoleptic verification per customer's requirement. Products not in finished product packaging is disposed of per local regulatory requirements. Next, preparation and maintenance of a current crisis alert contact list, including supply chain customers, which you may refer to crisis alert contact list, and to approved supplier list. Then we have sources of legal and expert advice, which you may refer to sources of legal and expert advice. Lastly, records are maintained by quality department. Fifth is responsibility. 
the responsibility of the person is indicated. It covers what to perform to comply with the procedure or the policy. For the CEO, reviews and approves overall priorities and action strategies for the emergency response. Works with and supports communication services in the development and delivery of messages. Coordinates and communicates as necessary with the CMT. Offices response and recovery operations. And activates and leads the action plan and deactivate as conditions return to normal. Responsibility for internal communications and communicating with authorities, external organizations, and media. We have directors or officers and the CEO. Has the delegated authority to act in the best interest of the company and the goals of emergency response and recovery on behalf of the CMT during immediate response operations. Next to responsibility is corrective action. The corrective action is the process of taking appropriate steps to eliminate causes of nonconformities or other undesirable situations. Crisis management plan is reviewed, tested, and verified at least annually, which you may refer to crisis management annual review, to crisis management plan test and verification, to after action report evacuation, and to crisis management testing and verification. After corrective action is the Review Quality Department. The review section serves as guidelines for conducting the annual or periodic review. 1. A crisis management team has been established, trained, and includes a senior decision maker. A crisis management plan is in place and has been tested at least annually. The crisis management plan includes known business threats, controls that need to be implemented, measures to isolate affected product, and a contact list of relevant authorities, legal advice, and other key stakeholders. The crisis management plan includes identification of the individuals responsible for communication, including communication within the site. Where the annual review of the crisis management plan has been identified non-compliances or areas requiring improvements, Corrective actions has been identified and implemented. And records of business continuity plan reviews and their corrective actions are available. If is reference documents. The reference documents are the set of documents used to implement and monitor a program, policy, or procedure. The crisis management plan includes identification of the individuals responsible for communication, including communication within the site. Where the annual review of the crisis management plan has been identified non-compliances or areas requiring improvements, corrective actions has been identified and implemented. And records of business continuity plan reviews and their corrective actions are available. Next to review quality is reference documents. The reference documents are the set of documents used to implement and monitor a program, policy, or procedure. It includes the emergency response manual, after action report evacuation, crisis management program, the crisis management or response team roster, crisis management team training, the sources of legal and expert advice, Crisis Management Annual Review, and Crisis Management Testing and Verification. Ninth is References. The reference section is composed of guides utilized to implement the program. Examples are the Certification Guide, Regulations, and other widely accepted scientific journals, research, and the like. It must comply with a standard format citation, which can be based on either MLA, APA, or the Chicago style, and update the access date. Lastly, History. The History section is where we can update the program if there are any changes or revisions made in the document. If there is a revision, enter the revision number, followed by the revision date, the description of the change made, the name of the author or the originator, and the title or department of the author or the originator.
Thank you for participating in this document review. Consent presented are for training purposes only and are based on the interpretation of standards and best practices and must be customized for your intended use. To fully customize your programs, policies, procedures, forms for records and lessons for training, you may contact Interlink IQ or Consulteer Inc. at services at interlinkiq.com or simply call 202 982 3002. For free access, visit interlinkiq.com.